we are now interested in computing a representative value for a given data. This value is called the central value of the data and the various methods of finding the central value are called the measures of central tendency, which are your mean, median and mode. The measures of central tendency give you one single figure which represents the entire data. In fact, it is this one single figure around which the, all the observations of the data are concentrated, all the observations are centered. So let's begin talking about mean, median and mode for the distinct types of data that we've studied. Beginning with ungrouped data. C. Arithmetic mean or mean of a data set which is expressed as a mere list of numbers is defined to be the average value of all the observations, which is nothing but sum of all observations upon number of observations. Yes. For example, let me consider the exact same data set consisting of the marks obtained by a particular student in 10 distinct tests. All right. I am supposed to find the mean of this ungrouped data. Cool. So step one is going to be count the number of observations. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That means the number of observations value of n is 10. A little disclaimer, when I am computing the number of observations, I'm not just counting the distinct observations in the list. No, if there's any observation which is occurring twice, it's getting repeated twice, then I'm counting it as two terms. If there's any observation which is occurring thrice, it's getting repeated thrice, three times, then I'm counting it as three terms. All right, keep this in mind. Now, the explicit value of each of these 10 observations is what? Well, the value of the first observation x1 is 61. The value of the second observation x2 is 48. Similarly, x3, x4, x5, x6, 7th observation, 8th observation, 9th observation and 10th observation. So we have the total number of observations and we have the explicit value of each of these observations. Fine. It's like there's a random variable x which is taking up the values x1, x2, x3 up till x10. Then the mean of this data set will be denoted by x bar and it will be equal to nothing but sum of all these 10 observations that is x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus and so on till x10 divided by the number of observations. In the compact form I can write it as summation xi i varying from 1 to 10 divided by n. Plug in the values of each of these 10 observations in the numerator and plug in the value of n as 10 in the denominator. When you solve this, you end up getting 550 in the numerator, 10 in the denominator, leaving you with 55 to be the final answer. So the mean of this raw data set is coming out to be 55. Easy. Well, next up is median. So for a data set which is expressed as a mere list of numbers, median is defined to be that very value which sits exactly in the middle of the list once this list of observations has been arranged in an ascending order or a descending order. Got it? So for example, I have a data set consisting of five observations, x1, x2, x3, x4, and x5. So in this data set, which is given in the raw format, the number of observations is five, which obviously is odd. Let's say I have arranged the observations in this data set in an ascending fashion. That means x1 is less than equal to x2, is less than equal to x3, is less than equal to x4, is less than equal to x5. All right, then you can clearly make out that the very observation sitting in the middle is the third observation, isn't it? Why? Because it is dividing my entire data set into two equal halves. There are exactly two values lesser than x3 and there are exactly two values bigger than x3, isn't it? So I'm going to declare the median of this data set to be the very third observation x3. In general, whenever the number of observations is odd, in that case, 
n plus 1 by 2th term happens to be the unique middle term of that data set which you declare to be the median. For example, in here my n was 5. 5 is odd. So n plus 1 by 2th term was nothing but 6 by 2, that is the third term which happened to be the only middle term and hence we declared it to be the median. Got it? On the other hand, let's say I have 6 observations in my data set. Okay, so the number of observations is 6 which is even now. Again, I have arranged the observations in an ascending format. Now you can clearly make out that there are not one, but in fact, two middle values. Both these together are dividing my entire data set into two equal halves. There are two terms lesser than these middle values and two terms greater than these middle values. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to define my median for this data set to be the average of these two middle values. That means the arithmetic mean of these two middle values, which will be the sum of these middle values divided by 2. Okay, so in general, keep in mind that whenever your n is even, the number of observations in the data set are even, in that case, in that scenario, you end up getting two middle values. One is the n by 2th term, other is the n by 2 plus 1th term. You define median to be the average of these two middle values. Alright, for example, in here, my n was 6, that is the number of observations was 6, that is even. So n by 2th term, that is 6 by 2, that is the third term, and n by 2 plus 1th term, which is 3 plus 1, that is fourth term. Both the third and the fourth term happen to be my middle values. I calculated their mean, their arithmetic mean, and declared that to be the median. Got it? So depending upon, how, depending upon how many observations you have in your list, after you have arranged that list in an ascending or a descending fashion, you can keep these two results in mind to calculate the median. Fine. For example, let's consider the exact same data set, okay, which consists of the marks obtained by a particular student in 10 distinct class tests. I want to calculate the median of this ungrouped data set. First of all, I'm going to arrange this, this data set in an ascending or a descending fashion. So let me begin with the lowest value, it's 48. Next, I have two 49s. Next, I have 152. Next, I have two 54s. And lastly, I have four 61s. I have arranged my data into an ascending fashion. In here, I know the number of observations is 10, which is even. So n by 2th observation and n by 2 plus 1th observation, both these will be the middle terms of this data set. So 10 by 2 will give me 5, so 5th observation, and 10 by 2 plus 1 will give me 6th observation. So start counting. This is 1st observation, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th. So 5th and 6th observations are my mid-values. I'm going to calculate their arithmetic mean and that I will declare to be the median of this data set. So the median of this data set will be x5 plus x6 divided by 2, which is 54 plus 54 divided by 2, which is 2 times 54 divided by 2, which is nothing but 54. Okay, so the median of this data set, which consisted of 10 observations, 10 is even, is 54. Got it? Lastly, let's talk about the mode. Well, we all know that whenever the data set is expressed as a mere list of observations, in that case, that very observation which occurs the maximum number of times in the list is declared to be the mode of that data set. For example, if I consider this same data set that we have been referring to again and again, we can clearly make out that 48 occurs only once, 49 is occurring twice, 52 is occurring once, 54 occurs twice, and 61 is occurring four times in this data set. 
So it's but obvious to conclude that 61 occurs the maximum number of times and hence the frequency of 61 is maximum. Therefore, 61 will be declared to be the mode of this very data set. Easy, right?